So many of you have sent me this picture over the past few days, either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, of two teens casually sitting over the railing on a cruise ship. Well, I almost have to address it. Let's read an article about this by Melissa Meantz over at cruisehive.com. Passengers captured sitting on a cruise ship balcony railings. Two teens have been seen sitting on cruise ship railings. How does this violate the cruise line policies and what could be done? This photo is crazy. I mean, this is in port, so there are potential legal ramifications for the guardians of these two individuals. I'm just gonna say that right now. A new photo circulating on social media showing two children, and that's what they are, even if they're teens, sitting on a cruise ship balcony railing has raised concerns about safety, poor behavior, and other issues that appear to be on the rise, not just on one single cruise line, but across different lines on all types of different ships. Where are the parents for this? Where are the guardians for these two? Like, if these were my children and this picture came up, well, first off, I'm probably turning myself into the authorities because I'm probably wanted for something. This, I mean, I don't know. It seems like there could be very bad legal ramifications for the parents or the guardians involved with these two individuals. I'm also whooping their buns. I'm sorry, but the belt is coming off on these two. I don't know, parents have gotten a little bit soft in my opinion, you know, <laughs> in recent times. If I did this, I would not see the light of day for months as a child, maybe even years. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it didn't take much for me to get in trouble back in the day. And boy, I found myself in a lot of trouble. Who, who among us has not done stupid things? But I don't know, this takes the cake in my book. Honestly, when you do stupid things, stupid things happen to you. And I'm glad that we are not reporting on two missing children who went overboard on a cruise ship or two children who fell and hit the pier on a cruise ship. Thank goodness that they just climbed back onto their balcony. Apparently, like, we don't even know what ship this is. It looks like a fairly new ship. I'm not familiar with those balcony designs. I don't know. It's, I don't pay that much attention. I pay attention to the flow, the vibes, the things to do, and the tips and tricks, but not necessarily the way the balconies look on ships. If you know this ship, or if you have an idea of it, leave it in the comments. Also, tell me what you think of this. What would you do if these were your kids? Hmm, yeah. Get back into the article. A photo circulating on social media shows two young passengers who appear to be boys sitting on the railing of their stateroom balcony, dangling their feet in socks over the edge. One of the guests appears to be holding on to an overhead ceiling for support. No adults are visible, other than another passenger on a higher deck who probably wasn't even aware of the guests below. Is that a mullet? What is that? It's not clear which cruise ship the guests are on, nor is the photo dated as the photo has been widely shared. Its origins have not been determined. The style of balconies, however, as well as the visible deck furniture do identify the ship most likely as part of Royal Caribbean's fleet in the Radiance class. Gosh darn it, thank goodness there are some other cruise nerds out there in this world. Melissa Meantz, is that you? Is that you doing this super sleuthing? This means the behavior could have occurred on Radiance, Brilliance, Serenade, or Jewel of the Seas. It wasn't me, I've never sailed on any of those. The photo is creating uproar among cruise fans as the behavior shows blatant disregard for safety and rules and onboard behavior guidelines for cruise ships. This behavior is recklessly dangerous and could be disastrous if one of these two individuals were to have slipped. If that had happened, the guests would have either fallen into the water, there's no way to tell how high they were, or hit a lower deck or something on the ship. Yeah. Um, so last year, there was a young lady who was being detained by security on the Carnival Valor, who decided she was just gonna run and jump over the edge of the ship. Well, these ships aren't just straight down, and unfortunately that young lady struck, I'm trying to remember if it was a light or a lifeboat that was sticking out on the ship on her way down. Unfortunately, she did not survive. Going over the edge of a cruise ship, it's not something you wanna do, ever. And uh, I don't know, this, this photo, Whew, where is the respect? What is going on? Like, did we just give up on actually expecting people to be decent and respectful and follow the rules? Is that, I mean, am I the only one who like will let you out in traffic at a merge? Am I the, one, the only person left that uses my turn signal? You know what I'm talking about? Like, 
I don't know if this is just the cruise industry. I think this is culture as a whole. I think our culture has really decayed. I think we've lost a lot of respect for other people and well, I've got ideas of how to solve it, but this is a cruise channel and we are not solving the world's problem here, but you can help solve it in the comments down below. Leave me your thoughts on this, on any of the unruly behaviors you've seen on cruise ships. This is your time to chime in. Make sure you get subscribed because our next episode, hopefully it drops in about two hours time. I'm sailing on the Carnival Spirit up in Alaska and the internet is bad. And uh, so I'm hoping to get some uploads in. Also gonna bring you some really cool stuff, some vlogs, some behind the scenes things, and some excursion guides up in Alaska. I've got two cruises up here this year. I'm really excited to bring those to you. So get subscribed and our next episode drops soon. There's a lot of confusion over whether or not cruise ships can actually go to Amsterdam and uh, we're gonna help clear that up.